We want to get everything down as fast as possible. We want to convert the rhythms and the skills of work into cash, which indeed you can buy something with, but you can't eat it. And uh, then rush home to get away from work and begin the real business of life to enjoy ourselves. You know, for the vast majority of American families, the, what seems to be the real point of life, what you rush home to get to, is to watch an electronic reproduction of life. But you can't touch it. It doesn't smell and it has no taste. You might think that people getting home to the real point of life in a robust material culture would go home to a colossal banquet or an orgy of lovemaking or a riot of music and dancing. But nothing of the kind. It turns out to be this purely passive contemplation of a twittering screen. You see mile after mile of darkened houses with that little electronic screen flickering in the room. Everybody isolated, watching this thing. And thus in real, in no real communion with each other at all. And this isolation of people into a private world of their own is really the creation of a mindless crowd. And so we don't get with each other, except for public expressions of getting rid of our hostility, like football or um, prize fighting. And uh, even in the spectacles one sees on this television, uh, it's perfectly proper to exhibit people slugging and slaying each other, but oh dear no, not people loving each other, except in a rather restrained way. Uh, one can only draw the conclusion that the, the assumption underlying this is that uh, expressions of physical love are far more dangerous than expressions of physical hatred. And it seems to me that a culture that has that sort of assumption is basically crazy and devoted, unintentionally indeed, but nevertheless in fact devoted, not to survival, but to the actual destruction of life.